up until menopause, women are somewhat protected. Estrogen is a protective hormone. Uh, and premenopausal women are actually very unlikely to have heart disease because the uh, estrogen does have some decrease in risk of cholesterol plaque formation and is relaxing to the heart and the arteries. Now smoking is actually more common in women. Even though smoking is going down in the general population, we're still seeing that lingering effects, which will probably hang on for another 10 to 15 years. So smoking-related events uh, is actually going higher in women now than men. You would think that women would go more recognized because they tend to see a physician more than men. Uh, but that being said, it doesn't seem to be the case. And there are so many other things that get dealt with that oftentimes the cardiac stuff kind of gets left on the side. The most common thing that anybody will complain of is exertional intolerance, such that uh, maybe it was six months ago uh, someone could have gone to the store uh, and gotten through the whole store without having to stop, or being able to do light housework without having to stop, uh, taking walks around the block. They could have gone, it took them half an hour, but now they do it in 45 minutes and they have to stop episodically or they slow down their pace. So those things are the first cues and those are the things that people will just routinely write off and say, I'm just getting older or I'm out of shape. From there, it's usually exertional shortness of breath. Uh, most people will start to realize that that's abnormal for them. Uh, from there, arm tingling, arm numbness, uh, discomfort. Uh, often people will say they get chest discomfort, not chest pain. They make that discrepancy when in reality it's a discomfort, it's pain in my book. Uh, and then really anything that you feel, whether it's dizziness, sweats, whatever you feel that's abnormal for you, I treat it like it's angina until proven otherwise.